let's graph the equation y equals 2. That looks really peculiar. y equals mx plus b. So the 2 is what value? Is it the m, the x, or the b? Well, he's the b. Really, I have y equals 0x plus 2. So I'm going to start from my b value of 2. Here are my axes. I need to go up 1, 2, put a big fat dot. 0x, that means I don't rise. I could divide by any number I want and get 0 still. So all that means is that my line runs and runs and runs and runs, but it never rises. So I have a horizontal line. That is the equation y equals 2. Let's graph the equation y equals 3. Remember, this is y equals mx plus b. Does the 3 represent the m, the x, or the b? Yeah, the 3 represents the b. In other words, I have y equals 0x plus 3. This means my line does not rise. It just runs. So when I plot this, I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, and all my line does is run and run and run. It never rises. If all it does is run, it's a nice horizontal line. Let's graph the equation y equals negative 4. Remember, this should be y equals mx plus b. Does the negative 4 represent the m, the x, or the b? That's right, it represents the b. So really, I'm trying to graph the equation y equals 0x minus 4. The minus 4 is my b value. So I need to come to my coordinate axes and go down 1, 2, 3, 4. 0x means there's no rise. All my line is going to do is run, run and run and run, which means I'm plotting a horizontal line. And there is a graph of the equation y equals negative 4. Let's graph the equation y equals negative 1. y equals mx plus b is the form we've been working with. Is the negative 1 the m, the x, or the b? That's right, the negative 1 is the b value. So really, we're graphing the line y equals 0x minus 1. This minus 1 is my b value. That means I'm going to start at the origin and go down 1 and put a nice big fat dot. 0x, well the 0 represents my slope. Slope is supposed to be rise over run. The only way to get 0 is to have no rise. That means my graph just runs and runs and runs. So I get a nice horizontal line at negative 1, and there's the graph of the equation y equals negative 1.